Hi, Dilly Holy Weavers, it's me, Preston Ui, with top 5 moveset changes you can make in WWE 2K17. Number 5, giving Shane McMahon the Tope Suicida as a suicide dive. This is a move that he's done to the Big Show at one of the Backlash pay per views. I don't remember which year, but it, just look up Shane McMahon versus Big Show Backlash, and you should be able to find it. It's done right at the beginning of the match during Big Show's entrance. Now, I'm not going to keep this move, but you can give it to Shane if you want a suicide dive for him that is accurate. The reason why I'm not keeping the move is because this is 2016 Shane, and Attitude Era Shane is the one who did the move. And also, Big Show didn't fall flat on his back like the NPCs in the game. And you're about to see it done to the Big Show right here. Old school Big Show. Gets clotheslined over the top rope by old man Shane with his gray hair lovely addition to the game but I do miss Attitude Era Shane but there is the Tope Suicida if if there was Attitude Era Shane I would keep it but this is 2016 Shane so not gonna keep it but you can give it to him if you want a suicide dive move number four Dolph Ziggler on his outside finishers has two zigzags and they're the same zigzag but nowadays in SmackDown Live, he has been giving super kicks to people like crazy out of nowhere. So I decided to give him a super kick. And why not give him the Sweet Chin Music number two? Because he does Sweet Chin Music number one in the ring. Now, I was debating on giving him the catch one, but I haven't seen him do a catch one. But here is two Miz looking sweet. Alright, number three. Same thing with uh, Dolph Ziggler is... Kevin Owens, they gave him two different variations of the package power driver. Now, if you don't know, Kevin Owens used to be Kevin Steen on the Indies, and his finisher was the package power driver. But now he is Kevin Owens, and just to make things more authentic, I decided to give him the pop up power bomb instead of one of those package power drivers, just because I want things to look more like WWE nowadays. You don't have to make this change, but I recommend it if you want things to be more authentic with WWE nowadays. Here it is, the Seth Rollins. The first one, boom, hits him. No pin. Now we're going to charge, wait for him to get up. Here comes the man getting up, but he's about to get sent back down. Boom, with the pin. And here's number two, Bo Dallas. They gave him the Dirty Deeds as his finisher for his outside finishers and one of his in-ring finishers. Now, if you don't know why they gave him that, it's because during... 2014-ish, he was using the move as a finisher, using the double underhook DDT, that is. He wasn't calling it the Dirty Deeds, I don't know what he was calling it, but I decided to change it because, one, I'd never seen him do the move. Two, he stopped doing it in 2014. Three, he, his new move is the Rolling Cutter, which is what I changed it to, and he calls that move, I believe rolling the dice. I don't know why 2K didn't just give him the bow dog as an in-ring finisher at least just because that would be more accurate about around the time when the game was being made. Um, just seems odd that they gave him a move that was never really done by him after 2014. Also if you want to make the social outcast you're gonna have to make that and the tag team creator because W2K17 did not give it to did not make the tag team but they have their entrance theme their Titan Tron their mini Tron and they have their and well their three person entrance or at least it looks like their three person entrance but yeah so if you want the social outcast you're gonna make them in the game and here I, I am with a social outcast on the outside using the move to Darren Young Number one was a WrestleMania moment, and they did not give it to Edge last game, so why would they give it to him this game? I'm talking about the Suicide Dive Spear. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Pres Preston, it's the Suicide Dive Spear that Big E does, but really, there's no little, I don't know what you call it, moves that he does that make it look more like a Big E move and not just a regular Suicide Dive Spear. So I gave it to Edge so we can have Edge doing Suicide Dive Spears to McFoley probably through, through Flaming Tables. I don't know if you can do that in this game. I know in the last game you couldn't do it, but here it is being done to Cactus Jack. 
And here it is. You can see now these moves look like big E specific moves. No dancing. It looks like a regular suicide dive spear. So you can literally give this to anybody with a spear. All right, I've been pressing Yui. Make that U turn. Watch all the other videos on my channel. Always stay Yui. And here we go. You're going to see a skull on the screen. If you click that, you'll see a draft between me and Blood Buddha on his channel. And I'll see you guys later.